Two beaches in Perth's north have been shut down after sand contaminated with glass shards was dumped on the shore. The project was supposed to combat erosion, but instead created a hazard. Two beaches shut down and turned into construction sites. An erosion restoration project now a dangerous nightmare. 3,000 tonnes of sand dumped at Queens Beach in Yanship Lagoon found to be filled with shards of glass. My kids swim down here as well, so yeah, they'll be like, oh, what's wrong with the beach and stuff? And we tell them, they'll be like, oh, geez, no. We're going to make sure it's all nice and safe before I actually bring the kids down here again. Business owners feeling the sting of the quiet foreshore. It is disappointing to see that this has happened. Um, so. Yeah, we would like it to be cleared up as soon as possible. The glass discovered as the sand was laid on Monday. Accidentally dug up at the quarry, an $80,000 project turned upside down. When the, uh, the graders were scooping the sand from the site, uh, they actually caught the base of the site, which is the recycled glass which it sits on, and uh, that's obviously contaminated the sand. If there's one silver lining, it's that the contamination didn't unfold during the busy school holidays. Another is that rate payers won't foot the bill for the fix-up. The contractor taking full responsibility. They are going to source the new sand from the other quarry and, uh, and I am absolutely sure WA Limestone will endeavour to make sure this never happens again. The sand now being removed to pave the way for a new deposit. But Queen's Beach won't reopen until the end of the week. Yanchep Lagoon another 10 days and some can't wait. Especially with the warmer weather coming hopefully. Ezra Holt, Nine News.